Hey guys, it's August. I am here in Metabar, Jordan. We are at uh, St. George's Church. And this church houses a sixth century map of the Holy Land. And we're gonna look at that in just a few moments. What I wanna do is I wanna pan around and just show you a few things here. And uh, you will notice there's a lot of, a lot of icons here. <laughs> A depiction of the crucifixion of my daughter and child and I've always wanted to come to this church I never thought I would after two years since COVID but uh, we are here so what we're gonna do right now is I want to show you the sixth century depiction of Jerusalem now that is the sixth century map right there. It's a mosaic. So what I want to do is I'm gonna want you to look at this street right here, just by looking at my finger. That would be the Cardo. Now there's a replica of this map in uh, old city of Jerusalem in the in the Cardo. And that street right there, this sixth century map, is a depiction of the Cardo in Jerusalem. Right here would be the Church of the Holy Sepulchre which is a traditional spot of the um, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. There are two disputed spots in Jerusalem, the Garden Tomb and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now, looking over here would be the Damascus Gate that would lead to the road to Damascus. Looking over here would be Mount Zion, the upper hill of the city of Jerusalem. And then looking over here, would be the Golden Gate or the Eastern Gate, the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. What else is interesting about this map is if you look right here, this is the Dead Sea. Now you notice the boat there. The figures on the boat for some reason have been erased, so you can't see what they look like. Now notice this right here, that would be the Jordan River. The Jordan River flowing into the Dead Sea. Now you notice that there are two fish here. Notice the two fish. Now some believe that these fish are swimming from the Jordan and the moment they get to the Dead Sea, they, they flee. That's not what that's depicted there. It just shows that in the Dead Sea, nothing can survive. Only in the Sea of Galilee, because we know the Jordan River comes out of the Sea of Galilee, flows for about 100 miles and then empties into the Dead Sea. So this is the depiction of this sixth century map here in Madaba, Jordan. And if you were to lift up the carpet over there, that map would continue. So let's just go over here. So you can see how far this map goes. But this, this right here, I'm also gonna pan around a little over this way here. So you can see what the inside of this church looks like. And again, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's a big shrine and there are a lot of icons, a lot of pictures, you know, pictures of Jesus and, you know, pictures of disciples and, and things of that sort here. I'm not really sure what is down there or if we're even allowed to go down there, but I think I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, okay. So there seems to be another uh, little shrine here. Make our way back up. And when you come here, you can go to their gift shop that they have over there and you can purchase a, um, a replica of this that about map that's over here. So now we're looking at it from this end here.
So just giving you a pan around here. And I want you to also look right over here where my finger is. That is Jericho. This is Jericho right here. The city of palm trees in the Bible. Also, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here. You might be right there. That's Bethlehem. That would be Bethlehem the birthplace of Israel's second king, King David, and of course the birthplace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Messiah. So this map probably extended even further or maybe some of it is still under this tile that you see right here so we'll look at it from another end over here now the map if the map continues to um, extend you would have seen pretty much over here, what you can't see, probably covered because of the uh, carpet there, is um, Egypt and other areas, the Nile River, which you really can't see because it seems to end over here or it's covered by this pillar and some of the carpet that's over there. But well, folks, this is it. This is the sixth century metabomb map i've heard you know i've heard so much about it i've been on youtube and i've looked at it i've studied it but i never thought that i would actually be here in metabar jordan we were just at mount nebo and we had an opportunity to teach at mount nebo where uh, moses viewed the promised land and then i had no idea we were going to come here to metabar jordan to see this sixth century a.d byzantine um Byzantine map but this is it it's right here and if you ever come to Israel with us on one of my prophecy tours we'd like to take you to this place so you can see these things with your own eyes so again just to recap the map you see right there in the middle that is Jerusalem and right here Jericho the Dead Sea the Jordan River, of course you can see that, again, the two fish right there in the Jordan. And uh, Bethlehem right there. Whoever made this, you know, in some 1500 years ago, put a lot of work into this. All right, from Metabah Jordan, this is August Rosado. Hope to see you soon.